guys, it's Mandy. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. Oh, I hate when that happens. But <laughs> I just wanted to go ahead and get on here and show you guys um, just my little setup of my monthly calendars. I'm getting ready to get into the July calendar. So this is part of like my monthly prep and I'm going to set up the three main calendars that I use for a month. So I use one for my like family, home, all that kind of stuff. Then I also do a wellness spread for the month. And another thing I keep track of on a monthly basis is my social media. So I have three things here. I'm going to try to set them all up for you guys here today. I will see if I can keep this video as short as possible. Um, maybe even having to cut out some things. So might be like a, oh, it looks like this right now. And then the next clip might be I've done some things, but I'm really trying not to make them too long. But of course you guys are welcome to kind of fast forward through them. I don't have timestamps or anything set up, but yeah, I'm just grateful that you are here. I'm grateful that you guys are interested in what um, I do to set these up. I hope that it, it motivates you if you're looking for some motivation for this kind of stuff. And um, if you do like these videos, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more as I will be having my complete month July of July setup coming out soon. All right, here we go. So I have chosen to use my Faith Happy Planner. Um, I love, love this one, but I chose this one for my wellness. So I ended up just, it's undated, which I love. So I ended up just going through and picking out what I felt kind of vibed for summer and the quote wise, you know, on the dashboard. And I liked the stripes on the side here and let go and let God. So I will end up decorating this. And then on this side, I will probably um, transform it to be like a monthly goals page. However, I will not be doing that today, but I do like, I did this, um, with the teacher planner last month and I really am enjoying that. So, um, that's what I'm going to use for wellness. This one I pulled from my, um, home body seasons, happy planner, which I love as well. And July is perfect for the season this month for July 4th. So I am going to decorate um, and make this one my home, um, my home and family. And I am probably not going to be using this side. Um, like I'm not going, probably not going to be using the dashboard layout. Well, you know what? I might, I'm not putting, I'm not gonna say that, but today's all about the monthly. I have been using my squad goals planner and I love it very, very much. So I will, might try to incorporate my squad goals planner in for this one. And I just figured out how to use my squad goals vertical planner in a, a way that has been productive for me. I have a video out about it. It's basically making um, the vertical into to-do lists for me. Um, so we'll see if I stick with that in my July setup. Um, video, but we're just focusing on the monthly here and I plan on making this hopefully very 4th of July-ish. <laughs> and then the other planner I'm pulling from, I don't have the, I, I mean, I do have the cover. It's inside of my, my actual Franken planner here, except it goes this way because I liked it as a, as a section divider for my resource section and my planner. So as you can see, this is the cover of it. I'm sure you are familiar with it if you've seen many Happy Planner things. Now this is the cover of the Doodle um, Planner and it is, I oh know I'm like having to adjust everything here. So that cover is usually here. It's an 18 month planner, a monthly layout. So I went ahead and pulled the month of July. It's very summery. And I plan on using this for social media this time around. And um, I'm really excited about that. I, I have other ways that I keep track in a week on a weekly basis for social media, but I'm actually really excited to try the monthly out for um, just creating 
goals for it, writing down random notes or random things to do. And if I don't end up using it, you all know I just will put it back or I will decorate it and make it make it work for me. And that's kind of what I plan to do. I can also write notes for videos. Um, it's social media section is a lot of brainstorm and brain dumping for me. So I'm thinking that this will work really well for that. So that's what this one is going to be. So we have three calendar setups here and I'm going to go ahead and start working on just making them nice and um, inspirational spreads for me to have to go throughout the month. Okay, you guys, this is going to be my wellness for July. I wanted it to be kind of like a 4th of July theme, but also summery and, you know, to motivate me to get out in the sun and enjoy the summer. I also have been trying to take measurements on Saturdays, and I think having those lines here for that instead of keeping track of these things, um, I think that is better for me. And I don't like to keep track of anything on Sunday. It doesn't mean that I let my goals go. It just means that I give myself the weekend to stop tracking so much. Um, and I'm hoping that it'll help me to stop falling off um, with tracking, you know, around Thursday. Because I'll start off the week really good because I got a break. And then I start falling off. So, you know, just like any 
regular work, Monday through Friday work week, I want to make sure that I am staying strong throughout the week. So there is my July wellness spread. All right, you guys, we are into my home one. I really do like this pack. The only thing about it is the stickers are almost like cardboard, which I don't mind at all. Um, it's just different. So let's go ahead and decorate this with these stickers and see where I get with that. Um, my whole idea was to try to be 4th of July and partially like farmhouse or woodsy. So I really do like the jar here. Um, and yeah, that's what we're gonna try to do here. All right, you guys, so even though these are super cute, I did not get into them. I don't know if it's because I have to open it up, but sometimes I just don't feel like two different sticker packs go together very well. So my intention for this is to keep track of a few things that are coming up next month since I don't keep next month's calendar in my planner. And then um, I want to make sure that I have almost like a theme day for um, the days of the week. So that's kind of my intention for here. It'll say theme, but I'm not writing that just yet because it's not a finalized thought, but. So you guys, I went downstairs because I knew I had some more seasonal style, style sticker books um, from the paper studio, which I love these because they are very seasonal. And I found a page where are you, I found a page for more 4th of July decor. Um, so I think I'm either gonna put a couple more, just little cute things here before I move on to social media. And then I might even put some of these on my social media, so.
All right, there it is for my home. I'm gonna leave it because I'm starting to think, oh, I don't like that there now. So I'm good, we're good there. Now let's move on to social media. All right, you guys, so I thought I was filming when I did this whole thing over here. So basically I like to have a little key for myself for um, the, the videos. So for example, this one right here. If I were to put that one right there, um, I know it's kind of scribbly to you probably, but it shows the circle. So I know that I did everything and then final the final step of scheduling. But if it didn't show the circle or a couple of these, it would basically be that status. And then otherwise, I just wanted a very subtle 4th of July theme, but a very relaxed, like green woodsy theme here. And I'm really excited for how it came out because I use a lot of sticky notes. So sticky notes do end up covering the space up quite a bit. This is the setup for July for social media. And I'm actually, I'm, I'm really excited to use this one. I like it. Okay, you guys, so in the preparation for July's planner setup, here are my happy planner monthlies. I have my home and just kind of events and stuff like that that go with this. I have my wellness, which is very summery. I used the highlighters that I could that went mostly red and blue, but it kind of came out pinkish, which is totally fine with me. And then I have my social media. So I like that there's different different styles in each month that I'm not going to feel like it's the same every month. And that's what I like. I like a variety. So you guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please give me a thumbs up if you did. Comment below. Let's like, tell me what you guys are up to for 4th of July. I also am very curious, how many calendars do you guys have? I was conversating with one of my newer subscribers. Hello there. You know who you are, I'm sure. And um, we were talking about how many calendar spreads we use in our planner. And I probably use more calendar, like dailies or weeklies, all papers and stuff, but I, I don't wanna say only three, but I have three calendars obviously. So I'm curious what or how many calendars do you guys use in your planner, like monthly calendars, maybe even sections, um, and what are they for? Just let me know. Let's, let's like conversate in the comments, you guys. All right, you guys, thanks so much for coming. Um, subscribe if you haven't. I would love to have you around for July content. I have some fun stuff coming out and um, I'm excited for the summer. So I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye.